They call him the Butter Man, a figure obsessed with a strict butter-only diet. As the dead grow in numbers and our arteries clog, we face a new threat, a new challenge. Will Butter Man get to Louisville before his heart gives out for good? Luckily, butter can be found anywhere in Project Zomboid. In commercial fridges, to donut shops, and even the occasional dumpster dive. Butter dough. The Butter Man must collect and feast upon these sticks of butter in order to survive. The walk to Louisville. In this challenge, there is no cars, there is no hope of survival, and this is how Butter Man dies, or survives. Hello gamers, welcome to Heartburn Simulator. I've put myself in the far corner of Riverside for our first challenge attempt. But hold on, speaking of towns, I owe a huge apology for my previous Rosewood slander. It's time to give the attention it deserves, so we're taking a detour and making amends. After all, nothing bad happens in Rosewood, right? Right. Attempt 1 started with me in this bloody window. After breaking and entering, a single zomboid was already banging at the entrance. I tried defending myself, but this arsehole gave me a little smooch without my permission. Two minutes later, I've been smooched again! Butterman was in seriously bad condition. Seriously bad condition. Moving forward, I found our first commercial fridge. It had every single dairy product you can think of, besides butter. At this moment, I fled to the nearest public restroom for a good cry. But the store was occupied! What the f***? I was scared, I was anxious, and I was in pain. But I was just taking a drag of a cigarette, baby. I stumbled upon a local gas station and peered inside. She was full to the brim with zomboids, so I had to dash out of there and head for the woods. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, when being chased by the undead, flee for the woods. <laughs> This is now the homeless playthrough. It had been a long first day for Butterman. Finding this abandoned warehouse was really all we had. The night had caught up to us and we resorted to sleeping on the ground for the rest of the night. Those pesky zomboids had found me again and I was trapped. I began my escape by climbing up. Realizing this terrible fate I had put myself in. Banging on the door. We simply had no other choice but to break free through a window. Ah! Yes, I'm alive! <laughs> ah! Ah, bro, we're left! Attempt 2 started like any normal Zomboid playthrough by looting public bathroom garbage bins. These are shoes that I picked up in Mexico. Ooh, this is. We're back, bigger and better, 2.0 Butterman with a butter knife spear. That's a knife. To still be faithful to the challenge and my second objective, we were on our way to Rosewood, but something just didn't feel right. I was going through the woods, I was going on the road, I was like a highwayman, but then I was like, where are the zomboids? Like, where are they? Ah, I made it. I finally made it. We found one of our first commercial kitchens and I started looting like a loot goblin. I was zipping through everything until I found the fridges and oh my goodness, our very first butter stick. And I consumed it all. It was silky smooth and soft to the touch. My belly was feeling empty and I wanted more, but I couldn't find any. A curve in the road. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Stimulation. After finally having stimulation through mouse movement, I navigated to a website which had every butter spawn location you can think of. We're talking crates, freezers, fridges, metal shelves, more fridges. Are you writing this shit down? I could smell something was close. I was ready. I must get the butter. Get rid of this house. God damn, this house needs some butter. After another successful break and enter, I was in and I found myself another butter stick. <gasps> And this time, I only ate half of it so I can keep the rest for the morning. And man, did I sleep like an absolute baby that night. But I was having some seriously weird dreams. The morning came and we were back on the highway. Speed walking, baby. We stopped to quickly smash down some breakfast, which included the other half of the butter and a cigarette. A true French breakfast. I hadn't checked Butterman's weight in a while, but we were shredding fast. We were on 94 on the decline and I was wanting to bulk up. We need to find more butter. Let's do this. What does the sign say? Tell me, Butterman. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't know, it's something about Rosewood, I think, baby. We had finally made it to Rosewood with no problems and no zombies. This is it. Rat Pizza World. Surely there'll be some butter in here. 
Oh, well, there's no zombies though, so we should be fine. Sweet freak of Mozambique, the Zomboids are here. So that's where all the Zomboids were. They were hiding out in Rosewood this entire time and they weren't even coming for the pizza. Butterman was trapped in a never ending undead horde. We were in a terrible state of affairs, but we managed to finally get a cheeky sleep. In the dim of light of early morning, our desperate search for butter began. Quietly, we maneuvered through abandoned kitchens, dispatching the undead with calculated headshot. Yet, as we scoured every nook and cranny, hope began to dwindle. In our last ditch effort, we turned to religion. There, amidst the darkness, lay a solitary piece of butter, as if placed by some divine intervention. No, no, I couldn't pick it up! Oh, it slipped through my hand! As I spanked and pushed my way through the zomboids with my buttery hands, I had to make my way through the exit. But I didn't go for the exit. We missed the truck! We're not aiming for the truck. Oh, f***. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I feel blind! Victory had never felt so good, and the package was obtained. We were out of there quickity smart, but not without a few injuries. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh. We fleed like a true butter man, with our Olympic climbs over fences. However, our exhaustion weared thin. Our end was near. Our fate was sealed. The butter was melted. Our third attempt- Wait, no, 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 it's- We're a zombie? A singular butter zombie in a world where everyone is dead and the undead live on? What? what? Even as a zomboid, we not only crave butter, but we crave to complete what we were born to do. To journey to Louisville. As zomboids, we mindlessly roamed the desolate streets, stumbling through thunderstorms, each step an agonizing reminder of our eternal unrest. We try to link up with other zomboids, but honestly, Butterman was better alone. Butter! So for any of you wondering why are you speeding the game up, Look at the way that I'm moving! Like the start to any terrible horror film, we arrived at a motel, soaking wet. Hey! Open the door for me! Come on, do us a favor! Let's break in! Everybody! In a joint effort, my fellow Zomboids and I managed to break and enter into what appears to be the f***ing reception! <laughs> Not one ounce of sleep was had that night, and we soon left at a world record pace. The shadows of our past clung to our undead forms as we stumbled upon yet another diner. We slowly gravitated towards an open fridge where a butter stick lay, untouched. Our feeble hands, incapable of holding even the lightest of things, slathered the butter across the marble flooring. We finally hit the double highway, full of energy, rejuvenated with butter! Is that... is that more butter? Um, 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 um. Oh no, that's a helicopter! As the helicopter approached, we couldn't manage another single solitary butt. Bad butt, bad butt, bad butt, bad butt, bad butt. While the Zomboids migrated, I was going in the opposite direction. I was going towards Louisville, the ultimate goal. West Point, baby! We're here! We slowly but surely crossed the bridge with the helicopter hot on our tail. It's never gonna find me. It's never ever gonna find me. Oh, it found me. But we weren't the butter man anymore. No, no, no. We were the butter zombie. We started to see fellow zomboids dressed in military attire. And that was a sign that we had made it yeah. to Louisville. Oh God, I made it. As our journey was nearing to an end, we... A butter trail left for us to devour. We savoured each and every silky soft bite. In other words, we were unchained. We were naked. And we were finally free.